Hello everyone. What we're going to try and do here is create a year to date summation. So we've got a full year. Have a look at the data set. We've got a full year that's already happened. And then we've got a part year that's growing as the information comes in month on month. So we've started in January and want to go all the way through to December. But we want to compare what happened the prior year with what's actually happening this year. So we've got a year-to-date comparison. Well, how would you go about this? Now, there are many ways you can do this. This is just one way, but it gets the job done in a succinct way. It gets the job done in a logical way because data will appear here, 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 and here as these periods occur. So we can use that to our advantage. So what we're going to do is we're going to sum this range. We're going to use an offset, and then we're going to use a count all or a count A, yeah? And we will count the amount of items in here which will inform the summation above. All right, let's push that into Excel. So if we put our cursor in N10, we type equals sum, open a bracket. Okay, so what is the, what is the information that we're trying to sum? Now I can't hook straight into the sum, but I can hook into an offset. So I hit the offset, open a bracket. What's the reference? Now, it's saying, Here's the reference. The reference is the cell that we want to sum. Yeah? All right. Now, the offset formula goes, what is our reference point? Comma, row, comma, column, comma, height, comma, width. Now, we're only interested in the width because this is a range that is wide. Yeah? So we want to extend the range, and that's what the width can do. If we say one column, it'll sum one. If we say two, it'll sum two. If we say three, it'll sum three, and that's the magic number that we want at the moment. So we basically type commas until we get to the width over here. So once we're in the width, we can do a count all or a count A. So we start typing count A, open a bracket. Now this just counts the items in a particular range that actually have values, the non-blank cells. Perfect for this situation. So let's highlight the whole range so it's flexible throughout the year. So we'll highlight the data across here, and that should produce the number three, January, February, March, because they're the only items that actually have data within it, yeah? And as it grows, so too will our year-to-date calculation grow. So we close our bracket for the count A, and then we close our bracket for the offset, and then we close our bracket for the sum. Now, I should get 300. One, two, three. 100, 100, and 100. We press enter. Boom, we get 300. Now, if we come up with a sum in the next range, so uh, alt equals is usually our friend. Alt equals. Oh, it's given it one too many because of that. We'll just change that to a B. And close our bracket. Now, we're having 270 compared to 300. Now, if I was to put a value in here, say 50, this should go up by 50, but this year-to-date calculation should go up by 400. So we should see 400 and 320 appear as soon as I press Enter. So we press Enter. 400, 320. Okay, so for this situation, we have combined a sum, an offset, and a count A. There is a video on the offset formula. If you need a little more help than what I explained, go and get a more detailed uh, description. Otherwise, there's your solution. Have a great day, everyone.